Frank, does this deal make sense to you or does it go against kind of the Canucks message that, hey, we're retooling? Well, from a pure contractual standpoint, it makes sense to me. This is exactly sort of the window that we viewed Andre Kuzmenko in when you go back to looking at the story that we ran through all the contract comparables. He was sort of right in that range between five and six million dollars a year. There's a guy that's on pace for 74 points this yeah. season, and it's been an incredibly impressive showing for a guy that sort of entered as a relative unknown, clearly a talented player, but how would he adjust to life in North America, to the NHL, different games, smaller rink, all those things that you typically hear, and to do it at age 26? Well, they won the sweepstakes to get him, yep. and now they're in the spot where they're saying, maybe we're looking at the trade market here and knowing that he was a pending UFA, thinking we're probably not going to get a whole ton here because this is a guy that you'd have to then re-sign. So I understand from this perspective why you'd want to keep him as compared to the potential trade return. But here's the part where I struggle with, and I think if you're a Canucks fan, you might also struggle with the idea that what does this team's salary cap picture look like moving forward? Because mm -hmm. you have a bunch of wingers that are making in that five to six and a half million dollar range. And I think the thing is, we're looking at it through this current day prism and Patrick Alvine and Jim Rutherford are probably looking at it through, you know, the 30,000 foot viewer, at least they should be of these guys probably aren't going to be here. Brock Besser might not be here. Connor Garland might not be here. We're probably not going to have Bo Horvat, even though he's a center. So those are the types of conversations that I'd imagine the Canucks are having as they map out their plan into how they can retool into being a playoff team next season. Clearly, they felt like Kuzmenko and some of the chemistry that he's developed with Elias Pettersson is going to be one of those big things moving forward.